Achim Yekorim, dear brothers and sisters, we all are in quite a pessimistic mode. And I said many times this week, we need to follow all the rules and take every precaution. All of the rules must be upheld. But I would like to share with you a few, maybe more optimistic notes. Instead of Shabbos, in another few hours, Shabbos Kodesh. Let us not doubt for one minute Kodesh Baruch Hu loves us. He always does. Sometimes we don't understand his ways because he's a Kodesh Baruch Hu. We are not supposed to understand all his ways, but let us not falter for a moment in Amuna and in Betocha. Kodesh Baruch Hu loves us. Things will be well. We have passed difficulties a million times larger than the Nisiyanis we're facing now. We've been through pogroms, wars, tragedies, annihilation. Our fathers, our parents went through the Shoah and were here. And they always found Chizuk. So let us not doubt for one moment. Kodesh Baruch was with us. He loves us and we love him. There's a reason for everything that Kodesh Baruch Hu does. Arab Akiva taught us, that's our motto, called the Yoved Rachmona, Letav Avid. We've been through many difficult times. It's part of our story. We'll be through this. The Karif. And everything, Besiyat Adishmaya, will be well. So one of big discussions in Eretz Yisrael is davening with a minion or without a minion. Most Jewish communities in the world lock down their shuls. New York, California, Johannesburg, Montreal, almost all the Jewish communities in the world. And the Gedolim made the right decisions. If it's the only way to speak to stop this epidemic. Pikuach Nefesh overrides Shabbos, Yom Kippur definitely overrides Tvila Bitzim. And as I saw, the authorities do not demand that we close our shuls, and therefore my feeling is we should have a minion in shul. In my shul, 10 people come in, we lock the door. So most of the people will daven the Yechidus. I think it's a bad idea organizing minyonim in private homes and schools and classrooms. People are ignorant enough to think that the coronavirus peeks into a room and if he sees 10 people, he leaves them alone and he goes elsewhere. It doesn't work like that. Coronavirus does not, doesn't know anything about a minion. To him, it's no difference whether you're 10 or 11 or 12 or one or two. So yes, we don't close our shuls in Israel, but there should be no more than 10 in a room and keep a distance. And all the others should be davening at home. The Gemara says in Baba Kama, Samech Omud Beis, Dever Be'ir Kanei Sarad Lecha. And the Gemara quotes a posik in Yishayoch of, of Lech Ami Boi Bachadorecha. My people, go into your chambers and don't forget to close the door. That is what Chazal teaches us. So you're not supposed to be running around the Shona looking, where is there a room that you could still have stuff ten people in? No. There's a concept of Am Shibisadis and those that can't come to Shul, the Shliach Tzibar as might see them. There's a beautiful letter from the Shem Ishmael, 
the Sachet of Rebbe, the son of the Yavne Nezer, writing to a son-in-law who was ill and he couldn't come to Shur for Yom Kippur. And the Shem Mishmur writes, If you're davening with a minion, you only have one Shriach Tzibur. And you can never know what's in his heart. Is he really a Tzadik? If you can't come to Shur, you have a thousand Shriach Tzibur. Every Shriach Tzibur in the world is Moitzi Yam Shebesodis. One of them is probably a great tzaddik. So you're better off davening at home. That's a beautiful thought from the Shemesh Moel. So to all of you wonderful Tayyar Azizi that are davening the Yechidis, don't feel bad about it. And you don't need to rush to shul to be the one to get in and someone else will be left out. If you daven at home and someone else will daven with Minyan instead of you, feel good about it. You're doing your mitzvah. And I want to give an eitzah to all those that are davening the Yechidus at home. Daven better. Daven longer. So if Shachas and Shul takes 45 minutes, decide I'm going to daven an hour. If your Shmoinesi usually is 4 minutes, Take your time. You don't need to rush for Kaddish and Kedusha. Daven eight minutes. Focus on your davening. So what you're losing out by not having a minion, you're going to gain in Kavona. And Kavona Satfela is far more important than Kavona. The Rambam writes, Tfila beloi Kavona ain't not Tfila. It's not davening. No one says Tfila without a minion ain't not Tfila. So let's try to make the most of this situation. It's not our choice, but let's take advantage. If you daven at home, daven better, daven longer. Maybe learn the Uret Philo. So at least you're going to benefit. And if you're going to have more Kavona, that'll stay with you. Be'ez HaShem, when this is over, and we're all going to come back to Shul. Let's take advantage of the fact that we're spending more time at home. It's an opportunity to be machazak the kesha ben ishle ishtoi. Spend time with your family, with your children. Let's try to take advantage of the new situation that was imposed on us. In Hasidus, there's a beautiful concept of Hamtokas Adinam Bishorsham. We turn Midas Adinam to Midas Arachamim. If we could take advantage and take something positive out of this unpleasant and painful experience, that is Hamtokas Adinam Bishorsham. It's almost Shabbos. Oineg vegam simcha. Let us have a beautiful Shabbos, a wonderful Shabbos. A Shabbos full of simcha and oineg and amuna and aves Hashem. And a Kodesh Boch who should help us. We are seeing Chazdei Hashem. In the darkness, there are beacons of light. Hundreds of people were infected in Eretz Yisrael. As of now, no one died, which is an amazing statistical phenomenon. So HaKadosh Baruch was with us. His chassadim are with us. Let's love HaKadosh Baruch and dance and sing and praise and teach our children to do the same. Have a beautiful Shabbos. Bo Shabbos, Bo Menucha. Horachamon hu yan chilenu yoim she kuloi shabes menucho lechayei hu elomen bemherov yomenu amen.